Hey guys, got another tutorial for you today. However, it's not an After Effects tutorial. It's not a Final Cut tutorial. It is a Garage Band tutorial. Now I have um, some mix because I'm a musician as well as I am a filmmaker. Uh, I have some experience with using um, uh, audio editing software such as Reason and Logic and Garage Band. Um, but I'm just going to show you the basic Garage Band tools and functions, and I'm going to show you how to create a kind of a a uh, small little beat kind of thing, just a really basic one and I'll be showing you the interface of GarageBand um, so yeah I'm going to dive straight into this tutorial um, please know that if you're using GarageBand on a Windows computer then some of the keyboard shortcuts may be a bit different hang on a minute you can't get GarageBand for Windows can you? hmm that's how un unimaginative Microsoft are yeah anyway so that was a terrible joke um, Apple Soldier, aka Emeet77, may have liked it, but oh well, anyway, I don't really care. Um, I'm not a Windows hater, I just prefer to use a Mac. But anyway, I'll, I'll shut up now and I'll get on with it. So I'm going to open up GarageBand, I'm just going to wait for it. Now, you, first of all, you'll be greeted with this screen here. Now, let's just go in and create a new project. Now, you, the, some options here are open an existing file, create a new podcast, and ma Magic GarageBand, which I'll explain in another tutorial. Or you can simply just watch in the video tutorials thing here. But I'm just going to show you how to create a simple little thing now. So, create a new music project. Um, I'm going to save it to my desktop, as it already is. I'm going to call it, what should I call it? Um, I'm going to call it Bell End for the sake of it. Um, now, first of all here, you'll have the options for your project file. Now you can edit these within a project but it's easier just to do it here. So, um, you've got tempo slider here which as you can see it's measuring beats, beats per minute and the time signature that I'm using is 4-4 four, four, so I have 4 beats per bar so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, repeating. Uh, what else have we got? We've got all sorts of other ones so 3-4 um, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, which is three beats per bar. But I'm just going to go with four because that's standard. Um, what key do I want it to be in? Now, the key doesn't really matter unless you're working with the Apple loops that are built into GarageBand. But I'm not going to be showing you how to make those. I'm just going to show you how to create your own other than just using the preset Apple ones. So, key, all of the keys and notes there. So, I'm just going to go for the sake of it with E. I'm going to go for E minor. Actually, no, I'm going to go for E major. So, yeah, I'm going to create that project. So, as you can see, it's created on my desktop there. And I'm just going to wait for it to load. Now, you'll be greeted with this thing here, which is a kind of a virtual piano. Um, so, I can click on the keys to make them to make the sound. So, or if you click on this button here, it brings up the musical typing. So if I typed on the letter A on my keyboard and then S and D F G, lovely. So yeah, but I'm not going to use those at all because I don't have a MIDI keyboard. So I've got here my basic interface. I've got the obvious buttons here: the back to the beginning, rewind, play, rewind, fast forward, and loop. I've got the record button here. And here I've got the info tab, which I'll go through in a minute. And here I've got my media import thing. So, yeah, my media browser, but I'm not going to use that yet. So I'm just going to turn the volume up to full here. By I can use my scroll ball and my mighty mouse. Um, here we have a button, which I'll explain in a minute, because that's what we're going to be using to create the beats. And here we've got our little eye that we click on to use all of the Apple loops. So, for example, if I wanted a drum beat, I'd find one here, double click on it. So, I'd, um, what I'd do is, if I wanted that one, I'd drag it onto the project there. Um, and now my Mac is frozen up. So, yeah, so as you can see. So, just, some, just before we get started, some keyboard shortcuts that will be handy to know. Um, space is play. To go back to the beginning is enter, and record is R. And as you can see, I have the metronome on there. So yeah, I'm just going to um, delete this track. So to delete a track, it'll be command and backspace. So I've just deleted a track. 
so I have nothing here now. So, what I'm going to do to create a new track, I'm going to click this little plus here, and that's going to bring up this these little options here. And what I want to create is a software instrument track, not a real instrument, that's for recording through your microphone or through the MIDI input on your Mac. But I'm just going to go with software instrument. That's created that, it's created a piano. Let's just use a preset. I want to go on drum kits and I want a hip hop kit just for the sake of it. So, what I'm going to do is to create a new um, uh, to create a new little beat thing, I'm going to hold the command key on my Mac and I'm going to drag it to the front. So, command and click will create a new region, and I'm just going to expand it out to four bars there. Um, and I'm going to double click on it to bring up this little tab here, which I told you about earlier. Now, here's where we start creating the beat. So, um, if I hold command and click again, that's brought up a little note there. So I'm just going to turn the velocity up. Um, I'm going to expand the note. And I'm going to drag it to the bass drum, which I want to use. So, so that's what I'm going to be using. So, if I just expand this up here. And if I... Command and C to copy, and I'll copy that four times. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this up to a snare drum that I want. So, so and this one too. So what I've got here is, and I'm going to select all of those, and I'm going to um, make sure it's on the second bar of the verse or whatever. And I'm going to Command and V to paste three times. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, um, just to create kind of a hi-hat thing, I'm going to hold command, and as you can see, when I hold command, it'll bring up this little, so, it'll bring up this little pencil thing, um, I can't zoom in on it, so yeah, I can. Um, so a little pencil there. And what I want to do is, I want to, um, click again to bring up the hi-hat. So, I'm going to bring the velocity up. So I'm going to copy and paste this, so it's, um, so the hi-hat is hit uh, every, two ta every two times every beat, so yes, I'm just going to copy and paste that over there, so command and C to copy, command and V to paste, so let's hear this. That's sounding very nice but very basic, so I want to add a bit of bass onto it. Um, so I'm going to create a new track now, so the plus, or you can just go into um, track and new track, but that's quicker. So software instrument, new in time, okay, so I'm going to bass, um, sub synth bass, that, I'll just use this one. So I'm going to create a new region, holding command and clicking, and I'm just going to extend it out so it's okay there. And I'm going to create a little bass line, so... It's a bit low, so I'm just going to drag the note up. So that's an E note, and I'm just going to copy and paste an E note over here. And let's see, I want this one to be E flat or D sharp, it's the same thing. Uh, so let's listen, listen to this. And I'm just going to copy and paste this over this, and, I'm, and I can. Uh, adjust these notes here so I'm just gonna fiddle around I'm not gonna create any particular tune I'm just messing around but yeah so let's just listen to this little thing that's all I'll say that again let's just listen to this little thing that we've created or I've created so Not very interesting, but that's just a very basic little beat. So, uh, if I want to loop that, I'll click on the loop button and that'll loop those four bars. If I want to extend the loop, i would drag it out here. Um, and that is all I have time for in this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It's something different to what I'm normally used to be doing. So, yeah, take care.